Wouldn't you know it? Warm today. And I'm taking my girls out for a little putt-putt. I would like to be fishing, but showing even my competitive nature is worth it. I wonder who's gonna fight harder for the win. Oh, Go! Daddy. Yeah! Yeah, uh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah Lily, you cheer for me. Whoa! <laughs> First hole in one. While Lily, oh well, we're still working on her hand-eye coordination. She just wants to hold the ball, a natural. <laughs> this is why I love Florida. Where else can you feed alligators in the middle of a game? Look at the alligators. Maybe this will distract Eva. Yes. Mm, nope, she's my daughter. I didn't even know I was gonna make it. Yeah, a little golf action. Sunshine for putt-putt, heavy fog for fishing. It's just my luck this year. Um, the fog today, does it really affect anything we're gonna do or? Not really, I think it actually fires them up a little bit because uh, we got this front coming through. So hopefully before the front, they should be chomping. Yeah. We're gonna go bounce around some of the wrecks and reefs and then kind of see what how the day goes and kind of go from there. Cool, man. I'm gonna, probably, probably the first wreck I'm gonna go is like six miles and then kind of have to get barge and then there's a tugboat and then, you know, if we wanna run out further, we can. If we wanna kind of no, come back in and work some of that stuff. We'll just bounce around, figure it yeah. out. Okay. Let's do it. With fog this morning, the plan is kind of flexible. Captain First takes me to a near shore wreck about seven miles out. But this fog is super creepy. I feel like I'm in the middle of a horror flick. But luckily, as we make our way to the wreck, fog clears, I feel good about this. These near shore wrecks, I mean, you talk about how easy it is to get out here. You know, you don't gotta make real long runs. Um, and I mean, at any given time, the fishing can be great, you know? Yeah. You don't have to run, like you said, 100 miles. I mean, we're out seven miles offshore right now. It's funny, we had like that little front line. We just like came through it. Like, so this morning, the wind was coming out of the south and it just clucked around and started going out of the north. So, I mean, we'll see how fired up they are with the front. It's not like the temperature dropped. It's actually the sun came out and it got warmer. Exactly, <laughs> feels great out here. Now that I'm here, I waste no time. I drop a line with the live thread fin. Reluctantly, down near this sunken wreck, and I kid you not, on my very first drop, smack dab in the middle of my Florida Keys fishing story, it was it was blowing 25 to 30, and it was big, like it was. There you go. There it is. Hooked up, baby. Might be a cove, dude. Might be a snook, dude. Sometimes you just can't tell what you got. That'd be great if it was like a, like a 40 inch snook. Dude, I mean, they've been here lately. Whatever it is, it's putting up a fight. Feel pretty heavy, right? Yeah. Cobia. Yeah, right, really? Yeah. <laughs> here, hold up. Yes, my cobia. Yeah, I told you the coves have been here. Now, I just have to get them in the net. But all of a sudden, a quick head shake. Oh, no. And just like that, he's off. All right, let's just get all situated. Yeah, let's we're, go. We're here now, so. All right, let's get situated. It's all right, they're here. Captain's firing them up with the chum. All I gotta say is, game on. Get him. That might be a cope, he's coming up. This time, I have a heavier rod to make sure I can keep pressure on the fish. What we got? Oh no. I'm calling Cobra, yep. Little cope, nice one with him. Then, ah! <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go, there you go, get him. Okay, now it's a frenzy. You get that one. And I'll let Captain take this one, just to see if he has better luck than me. Get up here, I'll grab the net. Get the net. Get the net. <laughs> see those two? Yeah, hold on. They're, they're smaller, but this one might be legal. So let's just grab this one, because yeah. this one's the keeper. The other two are kind of small. All right, let's go. I grab the net. Ooh, ooh, Asher. <laughs> And we did it. Kobe in the boat. Ryder! Ryder! Here you go, Eva. Being competitive keeps you in the game. 
<laughs> Good job, baby. All right, we had about six Kobe around the boat. We got one in the boat, though. This one's a rider. Yeah. The rest of them are kind of like right there, borderline or a little short. Kobe, Kobe. <laughs> Captain throws out more chum. We're both hoping for another cobia. When out of nowhere, something starts taking line fast. Kind of getting all squirrely like it might be a shark. Or a you feel heavy? You get knocked like a shark head, like a cooter or something. Don't get in that wreck. This is a big fish. Ooh, come on, be a big toad. All right? Ooh, I think it's a dog cobia, dude. Come on, fish. Even if it isn't a cobia, I need to win this fight. I want this fish. Still can't see what he is. He's right there. Kind of like a jack, isn't it? That's not a bad call. I think it might be a big jack. Captain thinks it may be an amberjack. Shallow water big jack, I'm calling it. Calling it? These powerful fish put up a punishing fight, and the fight can last up to an hour for a novice fisherman. But I'm no novice. Yeah, it's a big old jack. Yeah, that's like a 50 pound jack. 50, 60 pound jack. That's cool. I'll take it. Yeah. I definitely ain't netting this one. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's a real one. Hell yeah, it's a real one. This close in? Fortunately for me, this fight only lasted about 15 minutes. That's a monster. <laughs> Still easy. Yep. That's a dog. Bell, bell's open. Dang it. <laughs> Big old shallow water dog. <laughs> He'll go 60 all day. Yeah. I got to get up under him. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I can't go. I can't go above him. You said they were in here. These shallow water jacks? Yeah. It's a nice one, man. Yeah, they get in here. As always, it felt awesome spending time in my home away from home. I got to spend some quality time with my family, catch up with some old friends. Thanks to my wife, Jennifer, I was lucky enough to get tight on some great fish. All in all, it was a great homecoming.